Thanks so much for chatting with us Hi. this afternoon. Uh, this series is super intense, incredibly gritty. What is it about the role of Misty or about this series in particular that was a real yes for you? Yeah, um, I, I read the script and immediately fell in love with this show. It was not like anything I've ever read before. And I fought so hard to be a part of the show. Like I went, I think I had like five auditions um, wow. for it. And yeah, and um, and I just, I fell in love with the character Misty. I have, you know, played, um, you know, quite, quite a few different types of characters. And this was the first time um, that I play somebody like her and got to physically transform for somebody like this. And it was exciting and and intimidating and you know and and scary, but also just I I was so honored once I found out that I booked this part and I got to play alongside Christina Ricci to bring Misty to life. Like what an absolute dream, you know? So very, very happy. There's so much grit and intensity to all of this series. How did you shake off a long day of filming? <laughs> um, therapy. And, Hot shower. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, honestly, though, like taking the wig off, getting the eyes, the eye contacts taken out, getting the wardrobe off, getting, you know, taking my, my getting to see my tattoos again. It really almost felt ritualistic to be able to kind of go through this thing that then I'm like, oh, it almost feels like you're shedding off this character. And some, a lot of times, like, I would just play some, some good music, some worship music some days, I like, you know, and just, just be able to talk to my boyfriend and, you know, be me again. And um, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it's a lot of fun. Cause then, you know, the next day when I got all the wig and everything put back on, it's like, it's go time. And then taking it all off, it just felt like you were just closing a book, you know? So, yeah. What kind of survival training did you have to undertake for the role? Oh, I learned so much from Misty. I mean, she's so smart. And I, I learned so much about um, one of the things I've taken to this day is uh, how to make a like sling out of a t-shirt, um, which was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like there were things that I went into it knowing some things because I watch a lot of Naked and Afraid and Survivor. Um, but, you know, it's it's uh, definitely different elements. And um, yeah, there was a lot of things that I, that I learned. I definitely wouldn't be able to survive out in the wilderness as like a vegan who is allergic to everything. You know, you can't like ask the wilderness, is this gluten-free? Like, you know? <laughs> so I wouldn't do so well with the eating part. <laughs> Are you familiar at all with any of your fellow Teen versions of these actors before getting to work with them here on Yellow Jackets? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, <laughs> I'm like, I hope everybody else did this. Maybe I'm creepy, but I definitely, once I found out like who we were all working with, I looked everybody up and I wanted to see what they'd done prior. And um, I just knew immediately, like, holy moly, this is an incredible cast. Like, this really is such a talented group of people. And I mean, the casting for this show is immaculate. And so I just, I feel really, really lucky and really honored to work alongside such powerful, strong, talented women. I think some of my more memorable moments from watching the first few episodes were those times though, when you are in this wilderness and your first duck and you're sort of just psychologically understanding I'm going to be here for a while yeah. were those the most challenging scenes to film is when you are first sort of surviving these moments or does it get more challenging for you later on when you still have to realize I'm going to be out here for a while and I'm going to need to survive and it's going to take some things I'm not gonna be <laughs> yeah. comfortable doing to make that survival last yeah I feel like with Misty she's thriving out in this wilderness I think that for her this is kind of almost a dream scenario to be stuck with these people that she loves to be around you know this this group of people that 
she um, has always cared about and hasn't ever really felt that love and care in return. And so now she's placed in a place where they're forced with her and, you know, and now she's getting to show all of her skills of, of helping people and, um, you know, medical, like her like medical training and her, her babysitter, Red Cross babysitter training and all these things. Like she's finally able to make a voice for herself and matter. And I think she's so focused on day by day and moment by moment that I don't know if she even thinks really like, oh, oh, like I've got to survive out here. I think for her, it's like, I want to be here as long as I can because I matter here, you know, and um, not the healthiest thought process, but I do believe that that's where her thought process is. You touched on connecting with Christina Ricci. Did she ask for some tips on your teen version of her in order to portray her as an adult? There were times that, you know, we would like send voice memos to each other of like, okay, how did you say this? Or, you know, if they added anything for um, what she did or what I did, there was a time when I had to say something kind of sing-songy and she's like, okay, how did you do the sing-songy part? And I was like, this is what I said. And, you know, we spent it that way, um, which was really nice, but it was honestly just getting to hear through crew members about they're like, oh my gosh, you both like touch your glasses the same way. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I had no idea. So I just kept doing that. And, you know, for people who, um, yeah, who were around us telling us, you know, oh, you guys both do this or you both do that. I, it was really very cool to, to hear that um, we both had those same instincts for the character um, without even having to plan it, um, which was really, really cool. And yeah, we just did little things with, you know, wearing the same color eyes. And I did like, she's got like a freckle here that I had them put on me. And I'm pretty sure she had one here that I have. So, you know, little things like that, that just really pull the character together. What do you think it is about Yellow Jackets? It's just going to make it such a fast fan favorite, oh. intense thriller for people to tune into. I think that there's so many elements in it that are exciting and scary and and relatable. And, you know, it's these people who are who are teenagers, who are like learning to love and learning to connect and learning how to um, be themselves in a very difficult place and the repercussions of all the things that they did now you get to see with the adults and and there's just something that's so exciting and beautiful and and mysterious to see and yeah I think honestly I think so many people are gonna love this show it's gonna have such a wide audience like that's my favorite thing about Showtime is I feel like they pull in the most unique people um to watch their shows like Dexter and Shameless like you know and you, you have such, um, yeah, these, these shows that are complicated and exciting. And I believe that Yellow Jackets is everything and more. <laughs> well, those are all of my questions. So thank you so much for talking with me this afternoon. Yeah. This show is, I think, just going to be just like the wilds where people are going to go to binge, but they're going to be like, okay, I have to wait for the next episode. Yeah. It's going to be edge of your seat, really, really wanting to watch this. So thank you again so much for talking about your insight into this. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so, so excited. So thank you. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Be safe and be well. Thank you. You too. Bye.